Hi, I'm Kim Hanna. Welcome to the Flavors of Scottsdale. Today, we're in Virtu in downtown Scottsdale. This place is tucked inside the only bed and breakfast in Scottsdale. It feels like you're walking into southern France. That's not what's so special about this place, though. It's Chef Gio and his food. We're going to go meet him inside. So we are here inside this fantastic place with chef and owner, Gio. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your childhood. Sure. I was uh, born and raised on the really left coast of Italy called New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> passport I, required. Passport required. Okay, but, got it. But I spent my summers in Italy, actually. Nice. Yes. And, uh, you know, growing up uh, on, in a little beach community um, that also had a farm 100 yards away from the oh, beach wow. was something spectacular. It was magical. That's, that's a really incredible summer, so I'm thinking that you might have something special in a memory bank back there. Spending time in the kitchen like I did, you know, with my mom cooking all the time, yeah. being in my high chair was, you know, all day, my mom would have to put a pot in front of me with some spices and a wooden spoon, and I would have to pretend to cook for her to get me to eat. No way. Absolutely. That's the only way I would actually eat. So then you would eat everything on your plate? I would definitely eat everything <laughs> on my plate, and that continues to this day. How important is food in the Italian culture? It's extremely important it to is. the point where you're discussing what you're having for dinner at breakfast. I love that. So being in downtown Scottsdale, yeah. you've got a clientele here that's kind of interesting. You want to talk yeah. about it? Absolutely. You know, the, the, the foodie clientele down here in Scottsdale is amazing. And I've been down here for a very long time, so they've become family to me now. Okay. You know, I love cooking for my family, so that's always fun. So when they're foodies, mm -hmm. Does that mean you get to get a little more edgy as a chef? Absolutely. You okay. know, you get to spread your creative wings, which is really, really nice to have. Since you're so creative as a chef, does that mean that your patrons are going to experience something different every time they come into your restaurant? Most of the time, yes. But there are a couple of dishes on the menu that I am not allowed to change according to my guests. Okay. So um, there's two dishes, actually. We have two signature dishes. One is the uh, charred Spanish octopus that comes with a little arugula and fennel salad, some lemon chickpeas, and a little calabresa chili uh, butter. And then we have a grilled asparagus dish with some local feta cheese, some bacon candy, and a little foie gras hollandaise poured over the top. Did I just hear you say bacon candy? You did. Okay, you, you sold did. me on that one. Would you share that secret? Absolutely, I could. Can we cook it together? We can cook it together. Where are we going to go? We're going to do that upstairs in the suite, which has the most to die for kitchen you'll ever see. I can't wait. Let's go cook that one. Let's do it. All right. So, Chef, this kitchen is so beautiful. You weren't kidding about this. It's gorgeous. I yeah. love it up here. The one thing that your loyal fans won't let you take off the menu is that asparagus dish that we were talking about. Yeah. And you're going to teach us how to make it today? I'm going to show you right now. All right, let's do it. Normally, this asparagus dish is grilled. Okay. But for this kitchen, we put it in the oven, actually. And you can do that as well. You can roast it in the oven with just a little salt, pepper, and a little olive oil until you get a nice little char on it, just like that. We're going to arrange the asparagus on a plate. It's a little warm, so be careful. It smells fantastic. It's just tossed in a little salt, pepper, olive mm. oil, um, roasted probably around 400 degrees, just until you get a little char on the outside. We're going to actually add a couple of beautifully fried duck eggs right on top as well. Then we're going to take some candied bacon. Candied bacon. Candied bacon. So what's in candied bacon? Candied bacon. We cubed up some bacon. We rendered the fat until the bacon got a little crispy. And then we deglazed the pan with a little sherry vinegar, a okay. little sugar, until it becomes syrupy. Add the bacon back in. And you have a treat that is like no other. Is that traditional for Italian cooking? Or um, is this a little twist that you... That's a little twist. That's okay. a little for two twists. Okay. I like that. We're going to add a little bit of local feta cheese. Okay. Okay. Just like that. The color is phenomenal. And then to top it all off, we have a little foie gras hollandaise, actually, which mm. is so delicious and so rich. And just going to really bring the dish full circle and garnish the top with some golden pea shoots. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. That looks fantastic. Your Italian relatives would be proud. They would be. Yes. They would be. I can't wait to try this. We're going to go downstairs into the courtyard. Is that right? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. So, Chef, tell me a little bit about your patio here and how it represents your culture. Well, I mean, it, it has this beautiful olive tree right in the center of the whole patio, yes. which just makes such a warm and inviting, you know, atmosphere for it. And at night, it transforms into this beautiful place with its string lights and everything. It's just gorgeous. We're going to dig in in just a second, but before we do, we're going to say goodbye. And thank you for visiting us on Flavors thank of you. Scottsdale. We hope that you have a fantastic cultural culinary journey. And the next time you visit downtown Scottsdale, make sure you experience the diversity through the food. Let's dig in. Perfect. Okay. 
the flavors of Scottsdale is brought to you by Downtown Scottsdale, where the Old West meets the New West, and the City of Scottsdale Office of Diversity.